another Ants on a Rock video. Welcome to the Ant Corner. I made this awesome ecosphere that I want to share with you. It should be a fully balanced ecosystem with living creatures and plants for them to survive by. Although it might need quite regular water changes to start with. Let me show you how I did it. I was really lucky and I came across a couple of these big glass jars. These jars are awesome and I'm sure we all know someone with one sat by their fireplace. So I went down to this little beach just a few minutes from my house. It was an absolutely beautiful day and as you can see I have nice scenery. From there it was just a simple job of filling the jug. So for this I just used a simple plastic jug that you'd keep in your kitchen. I made sure to scoop up lots of the substrate and the stones as well, as well as parts of the seaweed and algae. At this point I couldn't wait to see what I might get in there. You could end up with all sorts of little creatures living in the water, you just never know. I had to remove some of the larger stones as they just wouldn't fit into the bottleneck. I plan to keep this for just a few months and then I'll probably bring it back down and release it back into the water where I found it. In that time, it's going to be really cool to watch this develop with any living creatures in there slowly getting bigger. I'm going to be posting updates on it, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to keep track. And now, just letting it settle, because as you can see, it's very murky right now, and we can't really tell what's in there. So let's go home, give it time to settle, and have a little look. There seems to be lots of life and little creatures living in here already. I'm sure I'll see more over time as it clears further. I believe I have a pair of Trochus snails. Now I might be pronouncing that wrong and it might even be the wrong species. But that's what I think they are. I'm not really an aqua snail guy. From the research I have done, these will be completely fine in this environment, sustaining themselves off the algae, although they might reproduce into quite a few. But that's one of the reasons I'm going to be releasing it. That's all for this video. I hope you can join me for another one soon. And don't forget to check out the Great Ant Exhibition on our website www.antsontherock.com It's going to be an absolutely massive ant event and the start of many under the name of Ant Exhibition UK So as always from me I'll see you again soon Ant fans